Six people are in the running now um, after one candidate, Kimberly Strope Bogus, recently suspended her campaign. So let's take a look at those numbers that are in Ward 1 right now. As you can see, these are the candidates that are running for council. We don't have those results just yet, but Dana Cyril's is joining us now. Uh, she's been following the Ward 1 race all afternoon. Dana, you are joined by Chris Coleman right now at his watch party. What's it like out there? Live news right here. Stephanie, it is electric out here. Everyone's having fun. We're all feeling good. The Polk County Auditor's Office is reporting that Chris Coleman is our Ward 1 candidate. Chris, how are we feeling the support that you have seen and just this whole night? I, I couldn't be happier. I'm thrilled to get to work. It's been a great campaign. We had great candidates, but my friends and supporter, my kids, my dad are the greatest. And I couldn't be happier to have a chance to serve the residents of Ward 1. We've been without somebody for a while, and we got to get to work. Definitely, and it's been a long process. It's been a long time coming to get here, and there's so many people here behind you. What is one thing that you will take away from this race? It's that people really want their council person to work and to show some civility. That's the bit, that's the one message that I've gotten, and I think if I won, it's because I promised people that I would behave in a way that made them proud, and I will. I learned those things from my dad. Uh, I've tried to pass them on to my kids, and we'll model really good civics at the city council when I'm there and I want to get a lot done but we'll do it in the right way. Awesome. Thank you so much Chris Thank and congratulations you, on the early results right now. So we're going to be out here throughout the night watching this watch party but earlier tonight we spoke with Kathy Helstern who was another candidate uh, for this race. Take a listen to what she had to say about some takeaways. <laughs> way, One thing I will take away is that you can really count on your neighbors to to step up when when it's time to make decisions that affect them. <laughs> so we're going to hear more from Kathy uh, later in the show, live uh, from Megan McPherson, our other reporter. But we'll stay out here at Chris Coleman's watch party and report to you guys later on what's going on. But for now, live in Des Moines, Dana Searles, Local 5 News.